Tonight I watched an episode of Pepper Ann. It was between Halloween and Mash Into Me. Now, I do find the writing very good, and I love seeing Mr. Warburton's designs. Mr. Warburton did Codename Kids Next Door, which I was obsessed with growing up. I noticed a Sue Rose, Tom Warburton, Mo Willems were a group of artists who tended to work together in this similar circle. And I fall in love with their work over and over again, even before I'm aware that they were behind it. But I do have a bit of a hard time rewatching Pepper Ann because she reminds me a little too much of an ex of mine, who I hope to God I never see again. And it's a little hard for me to get past that. Because Pepper Ann is, she is arrogant, she is angsty, she's got 90s angst, this was common, but it's also very realistic to this particular person and this awkward time of adolescence. It doesn't feel like there's any contempt written behind her, it just feels like this is who she is. Again, I've dealt with an abusive version of that, so it is difficult. But it is really cool to see, well, I also like awkwardness, and if I didn't have that experience, I'd probably be really fascinated by this. Because I think she's got a unique design, too. There is uh, the way her hair is designed, uh, the bright, colorful outfits. And Pepperin is somebody who is, she is awkward, and she tends to follow the crowd more than she wants to admit. Now, in the Halloween episode, she gets insecure because some kids say that she and her friend Milo are too old for Halloween. So he doesn't care and is going to do his own thing anyway. And he has this very, he has a dried papaya costume, which is great. Uh, whereas, and she actually gets embarrassed to be seen with him and won't talk to him. And even yells at him for wearing the costume. Which, yeah, that's... That's rough. And she actually does make him, she actually makes him insecure about that too. But then, but she actually learns, she has to learn that the things she says has an effect on other people. And that's really similar in Mash Into Me as well. Because uh, in Mash Into Me, um, her sister Moose's weird friend, Crash, who has the same name as the creepy demon puppet. Uh, uh, he falls in love with Pepper Ann because she looks like a comic book character that he likes. And she doesn't know how to handle it, so she's really mean to him, but he likes it because that's what the character is. And then she pushes it too far and has to learn that, yeah, again, that things you say have an effect on people. And... She's also a bit of a hypocrite as well, because she has a crush and she does awkward things to try and get his attention, which who of us hasn't? Does make for very good stories. Oh, also, her sister Moose, same hairdo as Angelina Conda, so yay, that made me happy. And I... I was going to do this as a rewatch video, but the... I didn't have enough to say as I was watching because I was engrossed by it and wanted to listen to the dialogue. And the sound quality on the video wasn't really the greatest. That and I really do not want to edit. I didn't want to put the video in the corner because last night's video took forever to upload and I don't want to deal with it. But the episode of Pepper Ann, I did notice, I rewatched a couple episodes and <laughs> Either Sue Rose or a couple people on the staff love Stephen King, because this is the second one I've seen with a blatant Stephen King reference. The first one I rewatched, she goes to a slumber party and is afraid by the movie Gutter Clowns, which is essentially it. And this one, in Mash Into Me, there's a misery reference. <laughs> uh, someone asks Pepper and what's the worst thing she could have, what's the worst thing that could happen with this kid who's into her? And essentially, she has her uh, fantasy sequence is her uh, in the from the movie Misery, which is a great reference. Yay, Stephen King bonus! <laughs> That's great. And uh, yeah, 
good stuff all around. It's I've noticed that when with Sue Rose, Joanna Ferrone, with their work, I've noticed that these particular shows handle awkwardness in a really fun way. I don't know what it is. The personality, I think it's because of the angst that makes it that much funnier. Versus something like Doug where he's more quiet and he stumbles over his words a lot and it's very small self-imposed awkwardness whereas this is bigger, more aggressive and there's a bit more attention involved when these characters, when Pepper Ann goes through something awkward. So, and it, I think it feels more like something that would either happen to me or has happened to me. 